Happen is through curiosity on the Renvi show. What's the workings of the BJP as a party on the inside? Right now, there's no nothing. It's all broken up. We have a very wonderful part, party constitution. All that is being disrupted. Everything is nominated by Modi. So Modi and Swami, they are only two members whom you can call as genuine members of the party. What about pre twenty fourteen? Well, much before pre twenty fourteen. um uh, there was elections regularly there were changes in the presidency without anyone deciding who it will be it was a, there was voting it was one of the finest uh, system that had been there in the from jansang days and that has all been thoroughly disrupted by mr modi um I remember the interview you did with AAA News again. Um, you spoke about how the data that we receive as the audiences about the GDP growth is not bogus. Too, it's manipulated according. It's bogus. Yeah, I agree. But do you not believe that the current BJP government has done any positive for the country? No, no, not any positive. I think some many things are done without even the government doing anything about it. So there are lots of things that are happening which are very positive. Uh, Indians, for instance, going abroad. There is not the government doing it. There are people who are strive to do it. They go and make money. The question is, as the agricultural growth rate, the manufacturing growth rate. and the services sector growth rate are they what the government is claiming it to be 8% 9% rubbish it's not more than 4% how do i know that because i recalculated the whole thing one of the things that you uh, uh, one of the things that they are doing is they are evaluating gdp at current prices that means it includes the inf- in- inflation so much of the growth rate of 8% half of it is due to inflation keep it at the 4 uh, years ago 5 years ago prices rate and then evaluate the products and then you'll get only a 4% growth rate which is very very poor so you're saying that the 8% that's showcased to the public is to create a positive uh how can you PR create a game? positive thing we will be soon found out why is there no increase de- decrease in unemployment but they don't publish it i've got a copy of it so realistically practically what's india going to look like in 2030 what is india going to look at to 2030 uh, assuming that mr modi is going to be the prime minister yes it will be a, a 1930 of uh, united of united states recession and the unemployment great depression will be in a massive depression economically this is the economics yeah, yeah, professor economy, inside economy, you speaking economically people be on the road you have to produce like in the united states it was there and what are specifically if you get a little bit into economic policy according to you what are three to four very wrong decisions that we're taking raising uh, um, uh, um, income tax rates regularly hiking the interest rates which may discourages people not caring about the demand side of the economy and going for the uh, supply side you can have a large number of cars in the showroom but nobody is buying it or very few are buying it you know like that so inventories are growing so this narrative of us getting into manufacturing that we should be getting into manufacturing we, we, no we must produce demand demand is very poor in india because most of our population is yeah there there no much more income we see the inflation is eaten up most of it so if you were in charge entirely of policy you would first and foremost cater to increasing demand by elevating poorer sections of society no i will start by abolishing income tax and i will create a huge new mentality in the country people will jump with joy you don't know how much they will jump with joy and that money i will tell them 
put it in the bank that you're getting. And it'll give you not 4%, 5% interest rate. We'll give you 9% interest rate. And then use that money for investment. People will save gladly. If you say that uh, in the, for five years, they will get nine, uh, they'll get 9% interest. Everybody will come and put the money there for you. What's the point of having high income tax? What's the point? There's no point. Income tax, you can't collect it. Who collects it? So it's all been collected by for the personal pockets of the income tax people and all the ministers who get a cut. So you don't think that the high income tax is going towards the development of the nation? Not at all. But all this progress that we see, at least in roads. Each progress, they are all, pro oh, yeah, roads. How much does it cost to build a road? That's because of Gadkari. Nothing else. If there was no Gadkari, you would have had potholes like you had in Bombay. Every every um, monsoon, uh, whatever road was <laughs> built is, just goes into pots, I mean, uh, potholes. But he's also receiving the money from somewhere to do that job, right? Like, Which one? I'm, I'm trying to understand economics better. I'm not yeah, trying yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me what the money. I mean, okay. For example, everyone who is pro-BJP would always showcase everything that Nitin Gadkari has done as an achievement of the Modi government. Of course they will, but it's, uh, it's just, if, you know, why is this not happening elsewhere? I mean, uh, my question is, so even with this 2% income tax uh, thing, I think you've spoken about it on uh, AA News, that you want to reduce income tax rates to 2%. Zero. Okay. Even if it's zero, ah. will Nitin Gadkari get the same amount of money to build out all the roads? He doesn't need to. Um, I mean, he is getting he is getting enough money by using the usual methods. That is of uh, saying that uh, the payment will be made to those who build the roads after their roads have been built. So there are very a variety of ways he has shown great dexterity. That even okay. if you cut your thing, he will he will get the work done by saying, okay, you do this, and then I'll give you. Plus two percent more. Dexterity is the word. Basically, yes, sort of in a way, some yeah, sort of yeah. business acumen. But this is not the word he should be doing. He should be given money. What is that difficult? Suppose there is a shortage of demand in the country. I print notes. That's not inflationary because that money that goes to the unemployed, who become employed, and get their salary. And they'll go to the market and uh, spend it. And so the supply glut will be over. Today's problem is that the demand side is weak. Supply is plenty, relatively. So to correct that, the best thing is put money in the pockets of the people. And therefore abolish income tax. And income tax is abolished for agriculture, by the way. It is not paid much by the rich because they've got chartered accountants and corrupt income tax officials. And those below the poverty line, they don't pay. So it's in the middle class, the upper middle class, which are the innovators, which are the educated people. They are all suffering. They can't pay for their schools. Today, the schools are getting so expensive. They can't send somebody to IIT for education because the fees required is very high. Um, you're a Harvard professor. Yes. In economics. Yes. Why do you think your voice or your thoughts are not heard then? That's not got anything to do with the Harvard or my voice, you see. He said, basically, I'm a political threat. If I'm a minister, I won't listen to the prime minister. The Prime Minister says, do this. And I say, no, sorry, this is wrong. It will be not, I can't do it. Then what will he do? So that is the problem. I am a person. Now, I was very successful as a Commerce Minister in Chandrasekhar's government because he let me do whatever I wanted to do. And we transformed a total near bankruptcy of our um, uh, exchange, uh, foreign exchange. I turned it into a growing surplus. Then Mr. Narsimha Rao came, I gave him the same advice, and he raised the growth rate from 50 years of 3.5% per year to 8% in five years. 
um on a human level does it bother you somewhere that your opinions are not no not at all i god is there you trust the god yeah. in the results yeah and he's doing it for the right reason i'm glad he didn't put me in as a minister with mr modi because i would have probably been sacked after 2 months and so god protected me are you is your heart at peace oh yeah it's a look at can you see not see <laughs> I mean, see, I'll tell you why I'm asking that. I assume everyone in the world of politics, to some degree, their heart is not at peace because of the weight of the world. I, and no, 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 no. I, uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, those, those because they must be going having this mistaken notion that they are somehow they have to carry the weight. I don't believe in all that. I do my duty, and if I'm not able to, well, I just say God didn't give me the opportunity. Is Nitin Gadkari's heart at peace? I don't know. I have not talked to him. I think what he has been put through by Modi, he should not be at peace. If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.